It's Sunday, June 2nd. And there's the mulch. The pine mulch is what it is. And then we painted the beds today tan and dark brown to match everything else. I am mixing ash, wood ash in to the dirt before I plant the squash and the zucchini. So I already did it here and planted three seeds. So just for to have better chance of getting zucchinis to come up. I'm going to water this. I have a couple buckets of rainwater. So I'm going to I'm going to water this all in. I'm going to plant some kind of squash, binding squash there. So I also mixed in the wood ash with that and with this. I didn't... I planted seeds and these are acorn squash and I planted the seeds before working the wood ash in so I just sprinkled some on top just to see. And then over here, the Armenian cucumbers and dill on the side. And then there'll be yellow squash here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. Just keep planting so that every bed has a vegetable, a flower to draw in beneficial insects, and an herb. So that's my goal, is to incorporate all of these in there. And then I have the garbage cans from Dollar Tree. I can't find them anymore because the TikTok idea probably took off. But I've been just adding food scraps to that. And then when I water the garden, I water it. And I'll just throw some of the stuff out of the bed on top of it and just keep layering it. If I get any leaves or anything dry... I layer it. I've started putting pine mulch on everything to retain the water, which has been definitely helping. So zinnias on the edge, dill will be here, and then two dark green zucchinis. There'll be corn here, and kooka melons will go up this trellis. On the other side of the trellis is the butterfly vine I've got growing. So that'll come all the way up, and it has these pretty little red flowers. And then these, I'm just starting to fill up all the pots with potting soil and starting to plant spices and flowers that I want, like chamomile and different things. So yeah, that'll be corn, cucumbers, and then I still have to plant in here, but there's dill. There'll be some okra here. We'll just see how it goes. And the beets are already starting to sprout up. And then I have to plant this in. but. That'll be dill with more cucumbers and dill. And then I have flowers, seeds to plant in here as well. These are all jalapeno peppers. There's okra coming up right there. I'm going to plant more okra in the middle. And then, I don't know how to say that. Alyssum. The, there'll be these white little flowers all in here to help drawing beneficial bugs to kill the bugs that like the pepper plants. And then I've got a row of radishes along here which will draw in other bugs, other beneficial bugs once they start to flower and will help with the okra. Still have not found rhubarb but at least I left the space there for it. I can always dig up the strawberries. I don't mind digging up the strawberries. 
But the asparagus is doing really great. We were eating strawberries out here last night. So there's some decent sized ones in there. You just take a big handful of rocks and take the um, red, paint the rocks, you know, really bright red, and then just kind of move them around here and there. And the birds will start pecking on them and realize it's a rock and leave the strawberry bed. So been getting better luck with the strawberries since Terry painted me those rocks. And the strawberries are starting to flower again. The onions are coming up really nicely and everything has shade, which is the goal is to have the flower bed have enough shade of the soil so that it helps it keep moisture in after it rains and after you water. This is a marigold is in there. The oregano is starting to go to seed. But I just am getting all this in and then starting to do the pine fines around everything which just from doing a couple scoops of pine fines around everything it's already helped it to start to grow because it helps it retain that moisture and then i've got cilantro which is which will bolt and that's fine i'm just because the little flowers on there will help attract like if you let the stuff go to seed and it'll come up I would rather have cilantro coming up in my bed and pull cilantro than pull something that we can't eat. So when they're little and they start coming up in places that I don't want them, I just pick them up and eat them right out of the bed. So these are going to be with the cattle panels and there's going to be squash in here. So I put, I'm going to work this in to the soil here and work that into the entire bed. I pulled out all the walking onions to just get the space back and then I'll just plant more stuff inside there. But the onions are doing really good. I need to find more things to plant in here which is I need to find flowers and herbs since I have the green beans as a vegetable. And then you find the flowers and the herbs that attract the beneficial bugs that eat whatever attack the green beans. So I've got dirt started in here and I have a potato in the house. I'm going to get the potato out and then tomorrow I'll plant it in here and then just keep an extra bucket of dirt and keep filling the the bucket as the potato starts to grow and then once it gets up towards the top um, I'm gonna start herbs and flowers that will help keep the bugs away from the potatoes so I'm gonna start those in some little planters just around here and then um, once they start growing and the potatoes get hilled up enough I'll plant the beneficial herbs and the beneficial flowers in the potatoes and so far the fire pit being there has worked pretty well so hopefully once I get it all put back together it'll work out I've been doing this where I've just been taking the pots and putting cardboard, ripped up cardboard in the bottom of them, throwing some, you know, just mulch inside there. And then if there's any dead leaves and stuff, I've just been breaking them apart and putting them down in there. And then filling them with my mixture of my container mixture, which is equal parts of peat moss, pine fines, and then compost which is on the trailer which I've been unloading so I'm gonna go and get a container of 
off of there or maybe a wheelbarrow of it and just keep on mixing so I'm excited we've been eating blueberries every day and raspberries every day the goji berries are kind of questionable I need to feed them tomorrow <clears throat> and maybe look up about watch a couple of videos about goji berries So as I've been planting seeds, I'll plant them at the level of the of the soil in the bed, and then I just cover them with however much it says, so a half an inch or an inch or a fourth of an inch of the black cow. And I make sure that each bag that I open, I always smell it and make sure that it smells good because I've been hearing a lot of people saying that this year in 2024 that the black cow mixture has been off and has not been as good that it's actually killed some of their plants so be careful about that but yeah we've got over some coming up there there'll be a row of carrots back there but i might have to replant the seeds <coughs> The marigolds are all coming in good in the pots, even starting to get some flowers. The zinnias are doing really well. They'll help draw in beneficial insects. The carrots over here are starting to do really well. And I'll just kind of thin them out as I need to once they get a little bit bigger. But they've got space for right now. And we've been just coming out and picking the peas and eating them as a snack. I keep saying tomorrow I'll do this and tomorrow I'll do that, but then I have a whole nother thing that needs to get done that I get into a project. So those tomatoes don't really need the poles at the top yet. So I'm just leaving them be and getting other stuff done. And then I'll be forced to do it once the tomatoes start needing to be vined. But I've just been coming over here and going through, which you could take these and root them and make more tomato plants if you wanted. So depends on how big you want to let them get. But, you know, you can just take them. We'll just stick them here and see what happens. You just go through and anything in the armpit of the leaf pull off sometimes I just go through and pull off the bottom leaves pinch them off then it starts to give the radishes more room to grow. Yeah. 
there's my Sunday. This is starting it. This is just compost I threw in there. So I was just going to let this go and see what happens. It's doing pretty well. But I still need to plant flowers in here. Because <coughs> the tomato, especially Roma tomatoes, whenever I plant them, they end up getting aphids pretty badly. The other tomatoes, they don't bother them, but the Roma, for some reason, they get aphids. So I need to plant things that attract ladybugs and different things. And then I've been making little habitat places for the ladybugs to hang out. Like, so they want dry places so they can shelter underneath different things to stay dry. So, just from watching YouTube videos, I'm just doing this stuff.